Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you the pond that we made for the ducks and geese. Um, I'm sitting out here trying to do this part because you can hear the geese. If I try and go over there by the pond area, it is so loud that you can't hear anything that I say. So I'm going to sit over here and do this part. The other thing is even during the video of making the pond, um, we had the same problem. Ducks and geese they're just so loud so there may be some parts of this where I have to do voiceover or you know whatever to and bear with me because it's the first time I've ever done that um, but anyway we built this pond and I say we um, it was mostly my husband I'm not gonna lie uh, he did a lot of it while I was working so there will be some stages where you don't really see the process but I'll do my best to try and explain it to you so anyway let's get to I'll show you some of the steps along the way and then the final product at the end. Okay, so here you can see he used the cinder blocks to create a base and hold the thing in place. He filled the inside with dirt. There's the two geese, always got their nose in everything. And there's the ducks. Okay, so here you can see him putting tin up on the sides. He's going to fill the inside with dirt. Uh, I didn't show the process on the other side, but it's exactly the same thing. <laughs> I'm too busy looking at the camera. Now he's filling in the sides with dirt and he's got some decorative rock and wood he's going to put up on top and uh, try and find some something to grow in there that the ducks and geese won't eat uh, he's been researching that so I'm not sure what he's gonna put in there but I'm sure he'll find something you can see here he has started making the slope with some of the dirt to uh, create some steps up to the pond for the ducks and geese to get in He's been getting the dirt from those two trees, uh, dwarf trees that were in boxes I told you that we had to cut out because they were dead. So he figured he would make use of the dirt. And you can see he did a lot of the dirt and rock work on the slope there while I was at work. So I didn't get to film that part.
Okay, this is on the outside of the pond or the the goose enclosure. Plan on putting some plants right there, growing up from the bottom, climbing up that trellis. And like I said, he's been trying to find something that will grow that they won't eat and destroy. This is where the drain comes down. We have a hose that we can hook to that and direct the water anywhere on the lawn. You have to remember we are in Central California where we're mostly in dry, uh, drought state. So being able to drought, uh, direct the water where we want it is a whole lot better than just in the pond where they keep making a bunch of holes and stuff. So that was kind of the idea. That's the side that you saw him building. He's already put some of the rocks and, and uh, wood, petrified wood, whatever you want to call it. Same thing on the other side over there. You can see some dirt in it. A nice little ramp for him to get up into the pond. I have a big flat rock right there at the top. And then you can see the other side looks exactly the same as the one you saw putting together. A space there for more decorative stuff. I'm not sure what he's going to do, but I'm sure he'll figure out something. The ducks and geese are pretty much his thing. I take care of the chickens, he takes care of the ducks and geese. The geese hate me. They will attack me when I go in, so... The geese hate me. So, those are his. <laughs> and we cleaned it out after him putting all the dirt in, filling it with fresh water. See how they like it. 